I am Lisa. I am with the Tampa Hillsborough County Public Library, and I'm joined today with our special guest, my friend, Miss Jess. Hi, my name is Jess, and I'm with Creative Arts Theater, the city of Tampa's professional theater company for young audiences. We are going to be talking today about shadow puppets, and I'm really looking forward to this program. If you're looking forward to it and you learn some fun stuff today, and you might want to read a little bit more about it, you can do that with Hoopla. Uh, we have a whole bunch of ebooks and, and regular books in our catalog, but if you go to Hoopla through hc, hctlc.org slash ebooks, uh, you can find these two. Uh, well, this is one book and it's available in English and Spanish. It is The Art of Shadow Puppets. It's a book that was produced by the Smithsonian and is available in English and Spanish on Hoopla right now, no waiting. So that's a fun one to look at when you're done with this program. Now we have a fun activity for you to do at home. This is creating shadow puppets and a shadow puppet theater. I hope you enjoy it. Create your own shadow puppets and theater. Wow, this place is amazing. I can't believe those beans were really magical. And now I'm in a kingdom in the sky. What's that I hear? What's that I smell? Fee, fi, fo, fum. Mmm, something smells delicious. Uh-oh, you better run. Oh no! The giant had spotted Jack. Jack grabbed the golden goose. And then he ran and ran, and he climbed down the vine as quickly as he could. Whee! And the giant followed close behind. Whee! Welcome to my shadow play. My name is Jess from Creative Arts Theater Company, the city of Tampa's professional theater for young audiences. Would you like to learn how to create a shadow puppet theater today? You would? Excellent! I'm going to show you how I made my puppet stage, created my puppets, and how I used a light source to bring my puppets to life. What is a shadow puppet? Shadow play is the oldest form of puppetry. It's believed to have started in China and India over a thousand years ago and is now performed all over the world. Many of the first shadow plays were based on the idea of good versus evil and helped to teach the people of those regions moral lessons. Today, we still celebrate shadow puppetry and many times we use it to tell fairy or folk tales like Cinderella, Anansi and the Moss-Covered Rock, or The Little Mermaid. Have you ever made shadows on the wall with your hands? Maybe you've made a duck, or a little dog, or even a flying bird. Now we're going to take this idea a big step further and create an actual shadow theater and puppets that you can use to put on your own shadow plays for yourself or your family and friends. Okay, but where do we start? Choose your story. I like to start by asking myself, what story would I like to tell? For this shadow play, I've chosen the fairy tale, Jack and the Beanstalk. So I know I'll need a Jack puppet, hello, and a puppet of the giant. Hey there. I think I'd also like to make a few other pieces. Maybe a beanstalk and a little golden goose. It's time to start making our puppets. Making your shadow puppets. I've gathered all of the materials that I think I might need. I've got some craft sticks, tape, some cardstock for drawing, scissors, and a straight edge. It's time to cut out our puppets. First, we organize our space. You can see my printed puppets here. Time to start cutting. 
Let's skip ahead a bit. We have our puppets cut out, and now it's time to add the craft sticks. Decide which side is the back of your puppet. Lay the end of a craft stick on the feet or bottom of your puppet. Then use a piece of tape or two and make sure that it's all well attached. Making your shadow puppet theater. I've gathered all the materials that I need to create my theater. I've got cardboard, paper for the theater screen, tape, scissors or utility knife, make sure you ask your grown-up to help, a pencil, and a straight edge. Okay, it's time to draw and cut out the space for your screen. Lay your paper on top of the cardboard and trace the edge of the paper rectangle. Now, draw a smaller rectangle inside of the paper-sized rectangle. Cut out the smaller rectangle. Please get help from a grown-up on this part. On either side of the opening, draw a four-inch line coming up from the bottom edge of the cardboard. Once you have your line, carefully cut an opening just slightly wider than the line you've drawn. This is where the legs will go. Now we need to make the legs of the theater so that it stands up. Grab the piece you've just removed from the center of your screen and draw a nine inch square on your cardboard. Draw a diagonal line across the center of your square. Carefully cut out your square, then cut along the diagonal line to create two equal triangles. From the top point of the triangle, draw a four inch line toward the bottom. Once you have your line, carefully cut an opening just slightly wider than the line you've drawn. Finally, tape the paper onto the screen covering the opening. Then, it's time to slot the legs onto the screen and your theater is ready. Setting the stage with your light source. Okay, so now we have our puppets assembled and our stage with the screen. And as you can see, I've decorated with a little bit of paint and even added a beanstalk. Now we're ready to set up our shadow puppet theater. I've gathered my stage, my puppets, and my light source. And I've closed all the other windows in the room to make my shadows a little bit more clear. Now, you want to place your assembled stage far enough away from your light source so that you and your puppets can fit in between. Now that everything's in place, it's time to perform. Uh-oh. You better run. Oh no! The giant had spotted Jack. Jack grabbed the golden goose. And then he ran and ran, and he climbed down the vine as quickly as he could. Whee! And the giant followed close behind. Whee! Whee! Now it's your turn. How did it go? Once you have your theater, you can create all kinds of shadow plays with different stories. You can even make up your own. And for your future puppets, you can play with different materials to see how light is absorbed, reflected, or even transmitted through an object. Thank you so much for spending this creative time here with me today. I hope you have a blast making your very own shadow puppet theater. It's time for you to create your own once upon a time. Be sure to check out our Shadow Puppet Theater tip sheet and hang tight for questions. Miss Jess, that was an amazing video. I am so looking forward to practicing some of that at home. We have time now to take some questions that you might be able to give us some expert answers to. So I'll our do first it. question today is uh, a little historical question. Where did shadow puppets come from? Who came up with that? Well, shadow puppets have been around for a long, long time. In fact, some of the earliest recorded puppets in history were shadow puppets. And some of the earliest ones that we know of came from uh, the area of Indonesia and India. 
wow, that's really cool. But it's, it, it makes sense that it's been around for a long time based on what you showed us in the video on how, how they're made. So that's pretty yeah, neat. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see, we've got another question here. Oh, well, speaking of it being pretty neat and making it at home, you talked some about that. But if I want to set up a shadow puppet theater at home and have a have a show production maybe for for my friends, do I need to build the whole stage with the with the sheets and the lights? What if I don't have that ready to go? Well, you can build the stage or you can actually use a window at home. If you turn off all the other lights in the room, you can use a thin curtain. And if you pop in between, pop yourself or your hands in between the curtain and the window, you can use the curtain as your theater screen and the window as your light source. Hmm, so if I put a puppet in there or a hand in there, mm -hmm. hmm, maybe we need to do some, some, some hand shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's good. I like it. I like the flying bird oh. or you can do a little simple duck. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> so that's my favorite one is, is doing the bird, the bird one. I can get, get my, my wings going in there. You, you like the ducks. So I think we're, we're both liking the feathered. I love ducks. I love ducks. Let's see. Maybe this one can be an alligator this time. There you go. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I think that that's something that I can definitely set up at home and, and work on. Uh, we'll have to see where the light's coming in, which window might be best. And yeah, I think, I think that's a, a good show to put on. All right, folks. Well, if you had any other things that you might want to do or learn from the library, we'd love to hear about it. And if you wanted to get in touch with us, you can reach us anytime at hcplc.org slash contact or give us a call 813-273-3652. So reach out to us, let us know uh, what you thought if you have any questions, but also keep an eye out on our schedule for summer reading programs. There are so many fun live shows coming to the library and programs and activities. Go to hcplc.org slash summer. You can see what's coming up there, including some familiar faces uh, that you might have seen on this video that you might be seeing for an in-person show. So check that schedule. And don't forget, if you want to learn more about the Creative Arts Theater programs, go to tampagov.net slash theater. Ms. Jeff, I had so much fun with you today. Can't wait to do this again. Absolutely. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends.